Hey guys, this is Sekmoni here and in this video I'll be reviewing a wireless keyboard from a company called Retech. Now this company is not very well known, but I personally think that everybody should know about them because of the great products they got for a reasonable price and a quality in their products. Before I start talking about this wonderful device here that I got, I want to take a second and thank Retech for sending out this review unit of Re Mini wireless keyboard and that is this device right here. And so far I love this product and the description matches perfectly with the device itself. So in this video I'm gonna do a review, a full review and if you, if I don't answer any of your questions on this uh, t a review here you can always comment on my videos and then I can answer that there. So that is to keep you in mind. So I found out about this company on Amazon.com and uh, also eBay.com uh, and that is where they mostly sell their items on. Uh, you cannot really purchase it on their main website so you gotta go to Amazon.com. Um, I think the website, their main webpage will direct you to the Amazon website so then you can buy it there. Now if by the end of the video you want to buy this product, I have all the links down in the description of this video you can see their web page and find out more products from them obviously it is a keyboard so you will see a keypad on most of the devices surface is to the left mostly right here you will see a pair connect and F1 to F8 keys right here on the top and on a normal keyboards like I got on my gaming keyboard it is from F1 to F12 but as you see this device is pretty small and that many F keys won't fit. On the F keys, Retech also have included multimedia control which work very very well. I think that that is the best feature that I liked on this keyboard so far. Now to use the media keys I will show you guys in just a little bit. Taking a look at the right we will find a mouse pad that can only work with one touch which means that isn't it isn't multi-touch like the Apple mouse pad of course but if we take the small size into the thought then the multi-touch gestures aren't necessary because the technology cannot perform well in a small surface like this on the left side we will see a power switch and a light indicator the light indicator include RF communication indicator charging indicator, battery capacity indicator, and caps indicator when you write all caps with capital letters. I'm not really a big fan of this light indicator right here because they barely work. I cannot tell if any light is lighting up because it is so dim. It's hard to see. But the new versions of this keyboard like the Re Mini 6 has a more improved light indicator but that is the least problem that we have to worry about on this version right here which is the first version of the Remini generations. This keyboard also comes with a laser pointer that is very good for people who do presentations at their work or school. It does come in handy sometimes but all I have been doing with this laser pointer is just playing around my house and pointing at random stuff. And to use the laser pointer there is a button or what they call a pointer switch will be at the bottom of the side of the keyboard right here and all you gotta do is just press it and keep it pressed while using and I don't know if you guys can see it very well so what is left to show on this keyboard is the left click and the right click buttons on this keyboard and also the arrows that come in every keyboard out there and the mouse and these I don't have to explain because everybody should know about these so this should be common sense but if you don't know about anything about these keys right here the left click and the right click just put it in the comments and I'll reply to you as soon as possible I will talk more of the technical stuff more at the end of the video for now it is a testing time so how does the wireless feature work there are two ways to connect the device and both of them use Bluetooth connectivity the first way is pair your device to this keyboard and the second way is to, do, to use the dongle that is included in this keyboard right here it is a USB dongle that has Bluetooth um, inside of this chip right here so we're first gonna test the first way to pair uh, the device by just Bluetooth connectivity and the Bluetooth connectivity is included in this device right here so take any Android device, iOS device, Windows, Mac, Linux, PlayStation or Xbox. But the exclusion for pairing is that you have to have a Bluetooth built in. And uh, it will need to be able to pair with other devices. 
For this test, I will use my Android phone, which is a Galaxy S5 right here. Uh, this comes with Bluetooth capabilities. In order to turn that on, you will need to go to the settings and find Bluetooth. When you find it, turn it on. Now get to your keyboard and turn it on by this switch right here. Then press the little button at the top left corner of the keypad. And then press scan on your phone. And then just press uh, 3.0 macro keyboard. And then it's going to ask you to enter that number right there, 71, 30, 60. And for every pairing, it's going to be a different number. Once you pair the device, then you don't have to pair it again. So just go ahead and pr enter that number on the keyboard, 71, 30, 60. And as I said, it's going to be different for every keyboard. And then press enter after that. And then Bluetooth keyboard connected. So it is success and it is going to be in the paired devices tab right there on your phone. In this test, I will test the mouse pad and see how sensitive it is. And I will also test the multimedia control key, see if they all work. Then I will jump into typing with this thing. So the mouse experience isn't that great. But if we take the size of the mouse pad into the consideration, then we can stop being disappointed because of the small size of the surface. Retech was already able to make a mouse pad that works okay, but not great. All I can say about the mouse pad is that it gets the job done, but it's not very well. But you shouldn't be worried about this. I will now go to the music player and test the controls on the multimedia panel on the top of the keyboard that we see. To use the multimedia controls, you need to press and hold FN key and then press one of the controls of your choice. I will not play any songs loud because of YouTube copyright. What is really cool about this device that is it is very small but it still has a backlit. What is a backlit? Well, it's a light under the keyboard. It is very useful if you're using the keyboard in a low light area. And we can also take a screenshot of the device by pressing Fn and F2. And that is basically it for the media controls. I will type in some stuff and I will let you know my experience when typing. The keys are made very thin, uh, so sometimes you don't even feel like that you have pressed the button. They aren't very clicky, which we can understand because of its size. The spacebar is only pressed at the middle, so if you try pressing it, the spacebar on the sides, it will not work. If you want to put the keyboard on the table and use it, it is impossible because of how slippery the bottom of the keyboard is. It looks like and feels like it was made with a plastic material, but at the same time it doesn't feel cheap. It feels stiff and not empty. It has some weight to it, but it sure is lighter than any smartphone. Now there is some more information that I will put up on the screen right now. Um, I don't want to make this video very long, so I just decided to print everything on the screen. And you can pause the video if the information will interest you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to remind that this product was sent to me by Retech for review purposes and they are the first company to say yes to my product review request email. That is why I wanted to make this video perfect. If your question wasn't answered in this video then you can always comment or message me on YouTube privately. If you have found this video helpful then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe then that means I will make more and more videos and you won't miss any out that I upload. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.